Hi guys, DIY Woodworker here. Oh, well the work continues. Uh, my big cabinet, my 53 inch cabinet is basically built. The, the basic construction of it, it's finished as you can see behind me. I've got uh, my four shelf braces in. Uh, the next thing to do was to uh, build my doors, which I started building yesterday and uh, I had a relapse of uh, a medical condition I have, it's called uh, rectomitis. For those of you that uh, haven't heard of that particular medical condition, uh, it has a more common name that's referred to as your head up your ass. Uh, pardon the use of the words, but that's <laughs> what it is. I uh, looked around and I had four pieces of scrap wood that was just the right size to make my doors out of these cabinets. These are much bigger doors. They're 51 inch doors versus the other 35 inch doors. Same width, but uh, I was able to cut them to width and cut them to length and had four blanks all ready to go. I got out my uh, uh, door uh, jig for cutting the holes for my door hinges and I cut those all in. Then I went and uh, got out my uh, jigs to cut a edge on my door, put a little little trim on it so it looked nice like I did on the other door over here, just a little edge here, and didn't pay no attention to what I was doing, and I grabbed the wrong bit. Now, I don't know if any of y'all have ever done that before, like I said, I suffer with Rectomitis, it flares up frequently with me, and uh, that's just the nature of the beast. But anyhow, I was happy on my rider over here just cutting these doors, and I'm trimming away and looking at them, thinking, my, that looks nice and everything. And I, as I finish one, I lay it over here, and then I take the other, run it through the rider, lay it over there, and I got my last door done, the fourth one. Took it off the rider and walked over here, and I looked. And I noticed uh, light shining through the back side of this hole. And I thought, well, what in the world is that? And I poked my finger back there and that pop, finger popped right through there. Well, what I had done, and again, uh, my rectomitis causes blindness of things in front of you. You can't see what's right in front of you. I had got the wrong size bit and it cut into that. Uh, hole and uh, I managed to uh, mess up four perfectly good doors. So I looked around and I thought, well, geez, I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, wood to cut four more nice doors. But I had a piece of wood that was about three inches too short. So what I did is I cut me a three-inch piece here. Cut the tongue and groove in it using the bit, the correct bit blades and blades and, 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 and glued that together, added this on, trimmed it the length, and uh, put the correct bit in the door for cutting this uh, door edge here in, this little bit of a OG cut in here, and uh, that worked fine. So now we're back, we're back to where we should have been yesterday. I'm trying to sand off, smooth these down, and I think once that's primed and painted, you'll never know the difference. But I've got these four doors put together, built, all cut, down to the sanding and uh, prep preparatory to primary. And uh, this construction's going a whole lot quicker than the other one. I, I don't know why, other than it's the fact that I'm doing a replication of what I did on the first one, and like I said, the mistakes and goof ups. Uh, that I made on the first one, uh, except for this door mess up here, I haven't made on the other one. And this one's gone quite quite easy. It's only been three or four days that I, since I started it, so I'm really surprised. That cabinet took weeks and weeks. Of course, I had several week delay due to bad weather, but uh, it's got so hot now. It's only April, mid-April, and it's so hot out here now. I can't hardly stand it. I don't know what I'm going to do come summertime other than hope I've got this construction built and done and I can do something that doesn't require so much effort but uh, bear with me we're, we're getting there uh, 
we'll get these doors uh, sanded down, we'll primer them, and then, uh, then we'll mount them. And once that's done, I have to go rent that lift from uh, Home Depot, and we'll mount this large cabinet here over on this wall over there. Now, something I did, I, if you remember, in the uh, last video I showed you putting this shelf on, this shelf brace underneath here was just, just a millimeter too long. And I couldn't get this piece up. And by the time I realized what it was, it was too late to pull it out because the glue had already started setting. So I put three screws here and I countersunk and put three screws out here trying to give this piece of this brace a little more support because that's going to be part of the mounting system for this cabinet on the wall. But it's glued solid from about here all the way back to here, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. So uh, there we are. A little short video just to explain to you my, my illness and what it caused. <laughs> uh, bear with me, like I told you in, a, I think, my first video. I'm not a professional uh, woodworker. I don't know that I'm a pro <laughs> professional anything. I can't even talk, but uh, I'm just trying and, and, and sharing with you what I do, even my foul ups. I'm not, I'm not hiding, trying to prove that you know I'm perfect somebody and that I do things that don't make mistakes because that's simply not the case. I'm human, I make mistakes. But uh, so far we're, we're getting through this. Like I said, uh, I'll get these doors sanded and smoothed out and uh, get some primer on these things and some color coat and uh, get this cabinet primered and painted and uh, we'll go on with it from there. So for now this is the DIY Woodworker and uh, we'll be talking to you again soon.